Today I am the newest and oldest I have ever been. Mom called. She isn't sure what to say to someone she can't see, so she pictures something else, something beautiful. I don't know who I am, and that is a lie. What is natural, normal, and what is queer? Mom and I go shopping. She says, don't pick clothes from the men's section. She says, what are you? I apologize for not knowing or for knowing she won't understand. She closes her eyes and says, you are me. Sometimes people's parents say things like, we'll love you no matter what. Mom calls my therapist. She's afraid that I am trans and want to be a man. She does not say this to my face. I am searching for an unconditional love. I'm searching for pleasure in uncertainty, in shades of gray. I am looking to transcend. But life is about boxes, like the kind you check off on forms. Mom says, I hope you find a boyfriend soon. I cringe as more and more parts of me turn translucent. Or perhaps they're being coated with a thick layer of red paint, the kind that smells toxic, makes you forget where you are for just a moment. I am standing on a stage they built so lovingly for me, crafted out of the finest pieces they could find, just like you, they said. So beautiful, it would be a crime not to seal it up inside a glass case like the shiniest of trophies. So beautiful, it would be a crime not to put it on television and make it dance, make it sing, make it cry out, watch me, watch me, I'm so beautiful, and you can't look away. I'm standing on a stage. Commit, they scream. Commit to something. And show us that beautiful feminine little form. At home, I stand naked in front of the mirror and scream. Is it okay that this is what I look like underneath my baggy shirt? Is it okay with you that this is what my body is? Who is this you that we're speaking of? I've lost track. You can conquer them all. You can even conquer those little demons inside yourself. Beauty is power. They lied so loudly I believed it. But beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and this beholder motherfucker is ruthless. He says, nice tits, and wipes a magic eraser across all the rotten, ugly bits of me. Ethereal, unearthly, unreal. You're not real. You're not real. He looks at me until I can no longer see myself. I can't stop taking pictures of myself because I'm afraid that I'm disappearing. I can't stop taking pictures of myself because I hope that when I'm gone there will be evidence, plenty of evidence of the very thing that destroyed me. I belong to him and I wouldn't have it any other way. He shows up at my door in the morning. He holds my hand as I walk through the world. At the end of the day, he walks me back to my doorstep, kisses me goodnight, and whispers, dream about me. I promise him that I will. I promise him lots of things. My body, my soul, perhaps. Behind closed doors, I try very hard to take off my face to peel back the skin and unlink these muscles from their joints, from their bones, pile it all up and store it under the bathroom sink. Sometimes it's easier to be nothing. I am guilty for what I've done. 
When I lie in bed at night, I imagine shrinking myself to make more space for someone else, I guess. Everyone is having sex. They're saying this is the age of liberated women. I am paralyzed. Sometimes I take myself in handfuls. Sometimes I cry because I am so beautiful. I'm standing on the stage they built so lovingly for me. The lights are so hot I can feel the stinging of sweat droplets forming under my arms. I stand very still as my eyes begin to focus. It's a full house tonight. I can't remember my lines. A fly buzzes around inside my empty skull. I can't remember if there were ever even any lines to begin with. The buzzing grows louder until suddenly I realize it's not buzzing at all. It's clapping and cheering. The audience, they're clapping and cheering for me. I look down into the darkness of their open mouths. They love me. I see Mom. She's sitting right there in the first row. She's always been my number one fan. She's crying. She's never been prouder. I squint and peer into the darkest corner of the room. I look to the back to see myself sitting in the very last row. I try hard to read the expression on my face, but I'm too far away. The cheers are deafening. How was that? I scream to myself over the noise. Was it okay? Okay. 